All right, what's going on guys? I'm here with Lara. We're gonna show you a little bit of grappling techniques today. Uh, we're gonna start it off with the Russian tie two on one. Right, bow, or go like this, or do this. Right. Oh, 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 all right, any one of the things that you do. Okay, so lead leg versus lead leg right, okay? She's not gonna post lead with this hand, okay? If she throws your hand out this way, with the right hand, look, easy to go on the knee, okay? No one's ever gonna give you this lead leg just out of nowhere, okay? So the goal here, when you're in a lead leg stance here, is your lead arm is protecting that lead leg, and then the opposite hand is gonna reach out and go for the pulse, or go for this control here first, okay? Once you're capable of posting here and controlling, then you can bring this other hand on and go for an underhook, or eventually work your hands on the inside and go for the collar tie, right? But you never want to bow, do whatever one of these things that you do, and then reach with your right hand this way, okay? Because if you overextended, you expose that lead leg. You wanna protect that lead leg, right? So it's very, very common when we're in this position, that she's gonna reach with the backhand posting on this shoulder or controlling my head here, okay? And now this gives me a prime opportunity to go for a Russian two-on-one here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go across the body here, I'm gonna control this forearm, and I'm gonna bring my chest around, okay? Which puts a lot of torque on the inside of this elbow, and then look, I pass it, and I have my two-on-one situation here, okay? I wanna pin this upper part of her arm into my body, and then my second hand is gonna cup the inside of her arm here, okay? The beauty of the position, this V in her arm is very nice because if I apply a lot of outside shoulder pressure, it's gonna put a lot of torque on that joint, and it's gonna give me a lot of different opportunities, right? To use, to manipulate her body, to manipulate her uh, balance, so to speak. Right? So I'm in this position, she posts on the shoulder, wrist, pass here, okay, or if she control on the head, up, shoulder pressure, I pass this arm and I hug it, okay? And from this position, this is the Russian tie or the two on one, I want to start doing my attacks here. First thing I'm going to do here, the most very, very basic, is I'm going to hug this wrist tight shoulder pressure down, pass this arm, and then take her back in, okay? Really simple to do, not always gonna catch everyone with it, obviously, because, you know, not that simple, right? But it's always sort of my first line of attack here to put a lot of shoulder pressure and then pass this arm through in order to try to score that cheap takedown, right? That cheap, quick takedown, that put a lot of shoulder pressure, Make sure you don't blow out your opponent's elbow or your shoulder. Okay? There's a lot of different types of uh, shoulder pressure happening there, right? Boom, shoulder pressure. She doesn't go down right away, okay? Let's circle here. She doesn't go down right away. So now from this position, I'm just gonna abandon this, okay? By dropping my body here and controlling this leg here for a simple single leg takedown here. Okay, now I have the single leg takedown. It's very important to put a lot of head pressure because if there's no head pressure, there's a lot of weight on this leg, right? Put all your weight on this leg. I'm not going to be able to just take this leg and pick it up, right? Both my arm versus her leg is going to be very difficult to do that. So, pulsing, two on one, okay? I put a little bit of shoulder pressure here, and then from here, in order for me to get this takedown, I change levels, I scoop this leg, and I pressure my head into the body to drive her weight to this outside leg, okay? If I'm capable of driving her weight to that outside leg, this leg becomes a lot lighter, okay? So now I'm in this position, and then however you wanna finish your single leg, that's really up to you, okay? Very common, you just go down to the ankle, and then there's lots of different finishes from there as well. Tie, two on one. Legs too far away, I lower my body, head goes to this opposite pocket here. Okay, give me that arm again. Head goes to the opposite pocket, but I'm gonna track this arm against her belly and go for a quick blast double off of her, off of that two, two on one, okay? 
So now if you notice, once I take this Russian two on one, if this is their lead leg, I drop for that single. If that's their lead leg, I go for that cross body double. Okay? And if you could use these sort of three techniques together, right? Go shoulder tie. A lot of shoulder pressure here. Shoulder pressure on that arm. Single, double. Okay? It can be very tricky for my opponent. No, you're not going for that front headlock. Right? Of course, if she goes for that front headlock, you're going to do something else, right? Which is sort of what we're going to get to next, right? So, in a setting where my opponent gives me this two on one, and if she does nothing, I'm looking, she does nothing, <laughs> I'm looking for this cross body double or putting that shoulder pressure to bring my opponent down or I'm looking to scoop that leg, the lead leg, for the single leg takedown. Right? Of course, my opponent is Lara. She's very good. Very, very good. She does judo, jiu-jitsu, all this stuff. So she's not going to just stand there. Right? She's posting, losing position. She's going to want to escape this position. So the first thing she's going to do is try to square up with me and bring her arms in between our body. She's going to do this by posting this hand to my opposite shoulder here. Okay, so now she could use that as leverage to pull her arm out and sort of do this squaring up situation. Okay, I'm going to anticipate this. Post, okay, so lead leg right, lead leg right, important. Leg is protected, she posts, I go immediately two on one. She goes to post on the shoulder, I go underneath. Now I have a simple double leg situation, right? I'm in that two on one position, gaining that advantage, and I already know she's not gonna wanna stay in that position, right? Because she's not naive, right? She's not, she knows what she's doing, okay? Like I said earlier, she comes out, she posts, she does nothing, I'm gonna start putting shoulder pressure here, looking for that cross body double, or looking for that single, right? Sometimes I take that single, go for that cross body double, Sliding that hand through, right? There's also another option that I could go here is I could go opposite side potted room, okay? And then go bring my body across and take my opponent down in that leg if you have a backside potted room, right? So that is very smart, so she doesn't do this. She posts on the shoulder, great. She's gonna post on my shoulder. I'm gonna abandon it, go underneath. Shooting on that leg, right? So those are some options from a, a two-on-one situation from the Russian tie.